Francis Bacon is considered uh, as the prophet of the modern world because he imagined a world in which uh, science and uh, technology dominated the life of uh, all individuals in a good sense. Thanks to inventions, humankind could endly live uh, more happily, uh, live in a more prosperous world. One of the most known sentences of Francis Bacon is knowledge is power. Of course, the English philosopher intends the knowledge of nature. The aim of the philosophy of Francis Bacon is, in fact, to discover the secrets of nature in order to dominate nature, in order to force nature to obey to the human will. Uh, Bacon was not uh, um, a scientist. He, he would have liked to be one, but uh, he was, a, was not a genius, an inventor, and was not a scientist of the stature of Galileo Galilei. And his importance consists in the fact that he, for the first time, could imagine a world in which uh, scientists work together for a common aim, a common goal, so that the scientist, the philosopher, is not a single person of genius who mm, discovers a system of philosophy uh, very often in contrast with the, the philosophy of another genius of philosophy. But the scientist, the real scientist, is a man who collaborates with other scientists a man who can work together with others, who accept the same method, and who is um, able to renounce to a doctrine when this doctrine, when this theory um, doesn't accord with the facts of nature. In order to reach this goal, uh, we have the real philosopher have to uh, be more uh, cautious, have to pay a lot of attention not to fall victim of some prejudices. These prejudices are called by Francis Bacon, with a Latin expression, idola tribus. Uh, we, we can say, uh, sorry for my English, I know that my English is very poor. I am making a lot of mistakes, but I hope that uh, my exposition will be sufficiently clear to be understood. Uh, in order to reach the aim of uh, science, to reach a real knowledge of nature, 
by which we can dominate nature and give to humankind a lot of inventions useful to uh, make men live more happily, we have to free ourselves of a lot of prejudices. These prejudices are called by Francis Bacon idolatribus. Idolatribus is a Latin expression which uh, uh, can be translated as uh, idols of the tribe. The tribe is the human tribe, humankind. Um, this is the first kind of prejudices. Uh, Bacon says uh, there are other three uh, kind of prejudices. But uh, let us say something about this first kind of prejudices. Francis Bacon says that human mind is uh, like a mirror. A mirror, uh, or better to say, a false mirror, a distorted mirror, which uh, receiving rays distorts and discolors the nature of things. We tend to believe uh, to things which are more agreeable. And uh, finally, this is the most dangerous uh, tendency of human mind. We uh, think that nature is as appears to our senses. And uh, we don't pay attention to the fact that it is not the nature who adapts itself to our senses, but on the contrary, we ought to pay attention to the fact that uh, the nature is the first and our senses are the second. We have to... Um, pay a lot of attention in not permit to our senses to fall in errors. We have to pay attention to the fact that our senses don't reflect a nature as it is. Not always. Not always, at least. And so we have to discipline our senses. We have to correct in a certain uh, way, our senses with the light of reason. And we have not uh, to believe to something just because we like to believe in it. We have to be more objective as possible. If we want really, uh, if you want really know to know the nature and to discover it, its secrets. It is important to uh, underline that this kind of prejudices, the idolatribus, are common to every one of us. And uh, they are um, uh, deeply rooted in the human nature. And uh, they all can be, um, can be attributed to the fact uh, that it is natural, it is natural that we all tend to believe to what, uh, to what is agreeable, to what is agreeable for, for us, and to um, disbelieve to what um, is not agreeable. The second kind of prejudices are called by Bacon um, idola specus, that is to say, idols of the cave. And these kind of prejudices are linked to the um, uh, education we have received, the books we have read, and uh, 
uh, to the um, uh, to the, 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 the social class in which uh, uh, we have been born and bred. So they are prejudices in few words uh, different according to the education we have received. So if I have studied a certain kind of philosophy, if I have received a certain kind of education, um, I can prefer some doctrines and not others. The third kind of uh, idola, of prejudices, are the idola fori, that is to say, the idols uh, related uh, to to language, to the language. Uh, forum is the, the tribunals, the, the court of justice in which uh, the lawyer have to be particularly keen, particularly um, uh, able to use language. The prejudices linked uh, to language are very insidious. And, uh, uh, for example, uh, a word can be used in many ways. Uh, language can be ambiguous. And uh, uh, if, I, uh, if I don't pay sufficiently attention to the, uh, to the um, uh, meanings of the words, it is very difficult for me to uh, uh, to uh, reach uh, um, a good knowledge of nature. That is to say, to attribute to things uh, the appropriate word uh, as to uh, connect a single word to a single meaning. The, the, the aim is to uh, avoid the ambiguity of, of the language. Bacon says that a word has to have just one meaning and not two meanings and not three meanings in order to be clear, in order to avoid misunderstandings. And finally, the four, the four kind of prejudices are the ones linked to, uh, the, to the old philosophies. Um, in the past times, philosophers have uh, created uh, so many systems of philosophy and uh, they have never reached the truth about nature. Uh, this is the more uh, evident uh, proof that the philosophies uh, um, are um, false. So we have to uh, get rid of old past philosophies because they have proved themselves to be false. They have not... Um, uh, give uh, a concrete result, the truth of a philosophy is evident when this philosophy, the philosophy of nature, can dominate the nature, can uh, give the man the power to uh, produce some results, to uh, invent some uh, technological devices, uh, which this is, uh, it is important to remember, uh, which can uh, give to humankind a better condition of, uh, of living. I hope my, my English has been sufficiently clear and uh, I hope I could answer to the request, the gentle request of an uh, 
English speaking friend who asked me to to give uh, an English version of my Italian video about Francis Bacon.